We're in the thick of it, a heat wave. Temperatures across Connecticut reach into the 90s. You factor in the high humidity, and it feels like it's in the triple digits out there. Heat advisory or air quality alert in effect for most of the state tonight. This hot weather making it tough for a lot of people who had to be outside today. In Bridgeport early this afternoon, a bank clock in the city showed temperatures well into the 90s there. And on the New Haven Green, people took it easy with the heat by sitting on park benches trying to stay cool. We have live team coverage tonight. Storm teammates Erica Groh is at a cooling center tonight. But first, we head over to Storm teammate Steve McLaughlin for more on what we can expect. Steve? Yeah, we have some nasty weather out there, and it finally feels like a heat wave. And then we've got the storms that will break the heat wave tomorrow. Let's begin with the heat advisory, now in effect until 7 p.m. for Litchfield, Hartford, Tallinn, Wyndham counties. This is where we have the highest heat index values right now. Air quality alert continues for Southern Connecticut, Fairfield, New Haven, Middlesex, and New London. 96 at Bradley Airport. That ties the record set on this date back in 1983. That's the only record so far, but you can see high temperatures in Bridgeport up to 92, New Haven 90, downtown Hartford 94. We're down a bit with a bit of a sea breeze in Bridgeport 89, New Haven 86, New London 84. Still holding on to 93 in Hartford and 95 in Windsor Locks. Factoring the humidity, we made it up to 100 last hour at Bradley Airport. Now it feels like 98 degrees, 91 New Haven, Hartford 96. Here's what to expect tomorrow. In the morning, partly sunny, hot, and humid. By noon, the storms begin to move in. Noon through 8 p.m., a severe weather threat. Heavy rain, hail, lightning, and what I think will be the biggest problem, some very, very strong winds tomorrow afternoon. After sunset, although the severe weather threat goes away, we could see some non-severe storms and some leftover showers going into Thursday morning. All right, it is time to head on outside live to Erica Grow. She is at one of the cooling centers. And Erica, I know yesterday probably wasn't too bad, but what from what I'm hearing, today is a lot worse for those people out there with that heat and humidity. Hi, Steve. Well, as you know, today is day number two of our heat wave. We already reached 90 degrees or greater yesterday and today. So tomorrow we'll make it an official heat wave if we get to 90 plus for three days in a row. I'm standing outside of one of the cooling centers here in New Haven. It happens to be the library, the main branch here right near the New Haven Green. And you can come in and get that rest that your body needs. The real problem that people have with prolonged heat waves is that when your body doesn't get a break from the heat, you really start to suffer. So you need to get into air conditioning for at least one or two hours every afternoon. If you can do it during the peak of the day, that's the best scenario. But it is still hot out here. Now we are at 5 p.m. and we're looking at temperatures still in the upper 80s to around 90. We have the mobile weather lab with us and you can see that the temperature is still 89 degrees here, 88 degrees it just dropped to. And we are looking at heat index values right around 90 degrees. And when you're out in the heat of the sun it feels even more intense than that so get to shade if you can't necessarily get into the air conditioning right now we're live on the town green i'm meteorologist erica grove for news 8 i'm going to send it back into the studio darren's and sonia back to you all right